Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to the garden. Today we're going to be doing some flower arrangements. Now admittedly, some time has passed since I arranged these flowers. I'm working really hard to get caught up on things. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to look at some of our tulips. We've had these buckets of tulips stored in the fridge for about two weeks. Overall, um, storage of tulips this year was pretty successful. I'm very pleased with it. Hopefully we can move forward with that in the future. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take some of these La Vie Double Tulips here. Just this nice, bright, intense pink color. Uh, definitely not the color I expected when I ordered them, but that's okay. I also like about this tulip is it kind of has these uh, bright yellow centers and these kind of white, I guess, margins on the petals, stripes on the petals. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but since there was so much yellow in these blooms, what I wanted to do is go ahead and pair these with some other yellow tulips. So I have these kind of single pale and more bright yellow tulips to go with it. This came from the pastel mix and I think these accent each other and kind of play with each other very, very nicely. All I'm going to do is arrange these tulips in the vase. I mean, you know, not rocket science here. Um, at this point in the season, we don't have much filler. Uh, I did end up adding some bolted collard greens to this, the nice little just small petite yellow flowers. Ideally this isn't, you know, a good choice for arrangements that I'm going to sell, but uh, these are very much just for me to enjoy since um, no one is accepting donations right now. Um, overall it's not my favorite flower arrangement that I've ever done, that's for sure. I do like the combination of yellow and pink together. But I do think that this is one of those times that things would have looked a little bit better if we had access to just a little bit more foliage. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, moving on, we're going to try something else. Next, we are going to start this arrangement with our brownie tulips. If you remember, these were labeled brownie, but they are clearly not brownie tulips. I don't know what type of tulips these are, but rather than being the color I expected, these are very much a kind of bright red mixture of orange with a little bit of magenta in the petals. Um, regardless of what type they are, they are very double and very, very vibrant, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, we're also going to grab some Cafe Ranunculus. This Cafe Ranunculus has various shades within the mix, within the variety. Most of these shades have kind of a yellow undertone with lots of magenta and reddish streaking. Um, a lot of them are also really, really double, just nice tightly packed double flowers. For all, I, I'm not disappointed with the Cafe Ranunculus. I think I would grow these again. To really pull this flower arrangement together, all I am going to do is I am going to go to my mulberry tree and grab some mulberry branches. Uh, it's important to note if you're thinking about using mulberry branches for cut flower arrangements, these can be really temperamental. You have to pick them when it's early and nice and the weather is cool, also in early in development, or they will wilt. Uh, you can treat them a little bit to kind of trick them into not wilting, but they really are kind of a pain in the tush. Uh, but overall, I think that the mulberry branches add just a nice fresh green. Uh, you notice the green is just really bright and lively. And it gives it just a little bit of extra height that I think maybe it needed. Next, we are going to make yet another little small jam jar. I really love the jam jars. Um, I know I need to buy some vases, you guys tell me. But uh, I'm just going to start with those pale yellow and those kind of bright yellow tulips again. For whatever reason, there really were a lot of kind of yellow tones in that pastel mix. Normally I kind of shy away from yellow, but um, it's kind of good to think outside of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm also going to add to this arrangement the Silk Road double tulips. These are just yellow double tulips. They were supposed to have a little bit of veining, but mine didn't, so it is what it is. Um, in terms of greenery, we're going to go back to those mulberry leaves. They kind of just a, you know, just a nice subtle green note. The mulberry leaves definitely look better when um, they're just used as small little accent pieces, I think, personally. Uh, it's all preference. Last but not least for this arrangement, we are going to add just a few of the pale yellow ranunculus. These ranunculus were a little bit short, but they worked out perfectly in this jam jar arrangement. And I think it makes a super cute little tiny little jam jar posy, you know, to set on the table or something. 
Uh, I really like this one. This was one of my favorites for this video, I think. But not least, we are going to make one more flower arrangement. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some single tulips from that pastel mix. Um, these are the pale pink, really soft pale pink that looks really nice and delicate. Also, these kind of darker pinks that have this darker stripe down the center. Uh, I think this variety is called Pretty Princess. Um, it wasn't a mixed pack, but I've seen this sold individually before. I really, really like this one. It's very unique. Um, we are going to mix these with those Brisbane tulips. They are the double fringe tulips. You remember from the tulip tour. I'm not sure how I felt about them because they were very short. Uh, but I think they're going to work nicely in this arrangement. Um, in addition to this kind of collection of tulips, we're going to grab some champagne ranunculus in shades of kind of peach and pinky tones and kind of bring those colors of the Brisbane together with the colors of the pink tulips as well and see if that can kind of blend together. Feeling very discouraged by this point. Um, something about this just wasn't coming together for me. Uh, I wouldn't... I went ahead and just added some mulberry branches to hope for the best. Um, overall, I don't think this was necessarily unsuccessful per se, but the overall look of this flower arrangement was definitely not one that um, I would want to make again. Um, maybe the colors, I don't know, something about how sparse it looks or the colors or the combination. It just, it wasn't for me. Um, oh well. But, I mean, that's one of the things I really like about just kind of messing with these flowers and seeing what works and what doesn't. And uh, next time, we'll see if we can do just a little bit better. That's really about it for this one. Hopefully it was helpful. I'm not quite sure if it was. Uh, if it was and you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. Absolutely love to have you making all kinds of new videos about, you know, gardening, growing your own cut flowers, growing vegetables, some DIY projects. Uh, really is a surprise, so if you like a little bit of a surprise, you know, you never know what I'm going to upload. Be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications so you'll know whenever we post something new. Share with your friends, all that good stuff. We're really just trying to grow the channel and uh, welcome more people into our little gardening community here. Don't forget to check out our blog. The link to that is in the description. The blog offers a lot more details about the posts that you see here on YouTube, so be sure to visit the blog. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, we are on Patreon. Uh, I always appreciate that so, so much. Helps me kind of keep things going around here. As well as our subscription soapboxes and individual soapboxes you can check out on my website as well. All the links are down in the description below. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.